time. So I mean, you're going to get an immediate response. Um, the other question that sometimes comes up, well, this was designed, well, maybe for restaurants only, not necessarily. Yelp is getting now everything from plumbers, yeah. massage you know, people, and, and things like that. Everything's going on Yelp. The more reviews you get, the higher you are up on that list. And the better reviews you get, obviously, the more business. So that's why this will integrate. The problem is we found with Yelp is that people will complain and squawk. Maybe they just had a bad day, give you one star, and you just sit there and go, what do I do? Where this, if you go, hey, I want you to review us right now, or when you leave, get a chance, please review us. This takes away that negative review, or if it is negative, you're going to get it immediately. And this way you're going to be able to decide, hey, what should I do here? And was it legitimate? All right, so as you see, I pulled up here. Here's our average star rating with about five. So with this here, as you can see, that we've got three recommendations. So as here, hold on, sorry about that. So in your review manager here, come on. Let's fit it. All right. Yeah, come on, Ed. Come on. The network's a little slow. Can we see it anywhere? Yeah. I apologize. The network's a little slow. <laughs> there we go. There we go. So as you can see here, we've got three star reviews. I didn't complete them because then it would go through the system. But as you can see here, you can see manage or you can see delete. Now you can also, on the top here, as you can see where it says feedback, I didn't put anything there, but you can see exactly in one forum exactly what they said. Their star rating, what they recommend you, and why or if they would, and if they wouldn't, you can see why they wouldn't recommend you. You automatically see on the side here where the website feed, Facebook and Twitter, these are our connections, not not anyone else's, but on your system you'll see any any of your websites where it's connected and you can actually manage through there and actually see exactly where they posted it at before they actually post it. So you can actually delete it if you want. They say something, oh you were mean and you're this and blah 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 blah. You really don't have to post that, do you? <laughs> I mean especially if you hey sir, you know especially if you see on the message where you you know and there's well, needless to say, a few asterisks are not her, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So obviously you don't want to post that. Well, if you go directly to YouTube, or sorry, if they go directly to Yelp, they can put that on there, and now you have no way of interacting, you have no way of trying to even fix it. But with our system, all of that goes directly to our system. Even if they go to Yelp, if we have it connected on there, you'll actually get an alert on that too, even if they go directly to Yelp. And you'll actually be able to delete them. So you can say, well, I already fixed this problem. Why should I have to post it? Delete it. And this is a good way for you to manage that. So your QR codes will look like this. Every time you put in a new system or anything like that, that QR code changes. So if you change your logo, this QR code goes away and it generates you a brand new one. So for a sticker generator, same thing, except for you can actually choose your color, how it looks, and everything, all in real time. So if you have one sticker and you don't like how it looks, not a problem. You just don't launch it, and you change it, and it goes through a system. So you get your customer data export. This is what I was telling you about before here. You click on any rating that you want, and it'll pull down exactly how many people and who they were, all their information, it'll pull down based on their rating. You get your notifications here, like I was telling you about before. You can receive daily notifications submitted through any mobile app, Yelp, Google+, Foursquare, and all your other reviews, all right there. So you never have to worry about bouncing from one to another or what people are saying on one page or another. We provide all that for you, all the demographics, how popular you are, and we also even provide an overall rating. So you can actually see how popular you are completely overall from all the sites that you have all together but we automatically put in a demographic so you can actually see how poppy you are individually as well. Uh, let's see, what else we got here? Um, here's the website feeds. So with here, you can actually put in a feed and that one, will, will, what will generate is actually a, basically a little comment box on your website. So unless you're a techie, don't worry about this. You can actually add it into your website if you would like as a feed. 
<laughs> All right, so the quick polling, like I was saying before, let's say you pick out or you have a, a new item or something like that. You can actually put in a. It's, it's working. Jeez. There it is. <laughs> you can actually put in the system where you can rate your service. Now, you don't just get one question, you get up to three. That's what we find most people usually pay attention any, any further, no further than three. So you can put in there, how would you like the service, how would you like the food, whatever you would like to put in there. And you can also change this in real time as well. So let's see, you got your SMS messaging here. This is where you can actually go into the system. So let's say you have a five star or you have a one star rating. Obviously those are mostly complaints. You can actually put into the system to all the people that have complained, sorry about that, here's your coupon or whatever you would like to put in there. You can actually even export this. So if you want to do it just individual, where one person or one scenario was worse than the other, you can do that as well. So let's see here. Then we have our review apps here, and this is where you get your review manager. Now, let's see here. Have we gone through all this? Yeah. Looks like we're finished. <laughs> so that's my system here. <laughs> do you guys have any questions? No? Um, how about comments? Comments? Yeah. Actually, yeah, the comments we no, 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 what if we have a comment on the business? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I was, I was just going to say, if, uh, if I was an entrepreneur or a restaurateur or whatnot, um, you know, and, 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 and knowing, and knowing that, um, you know, most people, you know, give your place a try and hear about your, your, your place via places like, you know, Yelp and, you know, Foursquare and whatnot, um, this is a really, really good service to use because, you know, um, I would not want, you know, I would not people want to, want, you know, I would not want people judging my business um, and whether or not they're going to like my business based on, you know, some, you know, somebody's bad review. It's like, oh yeah, you know, I had to wait a half hour, you know, for a table, you know, uh, let alone, you know, I did not make a reservation and I went Friday night at seven o'clock, you know, in the midst of a rush. So yeah, you know, because I had to wait a half hour, this place sucks, don't go here. You know, I would not want people judging my business based um, on a quack review like that. So I mean, you know, having some control in, in you know, being able to, um, promote your restaurant, I mean, is key. It's pertinent in the survival of a business. So, I mean, this, you know, having a service like in the loop, you know, using a service like that is actually going to be, you know, crucial to your, you know, reputation and survival of a business. I mean, I would do this if I was a restaurant worker.